YouTubers, Pastor Bob, I want to talk to you today about America and the year 2021 and the world in general. And what I want to talk about is a scripture in Proverbs 14.9. This is what it says. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Who are these fools he's talking about that actually mock sin, make fun of it? Well, one of the first things that comes to my mind is the mob that gathers in the front of any Planned Parenthood in America and they defend their right to choose. People, they're not defending their right to choose. They're defending their right to execute innocent little children on demand. And right now in America, you can abort a child up to and including a few minutes after he's born. It has a small defect. They can say, oh, we don't want it. I wanted a boy. I don't want it. I wanted a girl. I don't want it. They defend their right to execute children. Another one is gay pride. You know, we have these gay pride parades and every once in a while you'll catch one on the news. And these men and women are out there exposing themselves. They're sitting there shaking their fists up at God. They are mocking God and they are mocking their sin. What they're telling you is your morals don't apply to me. I can do whatever I want. And they pass laws where if you say anything about that, it's called hate speech. In America right now, up is down, down is up. Good is bad, bad is good. White is black, black is white. And then I look at Facebook sometimes. You know that just a few years ago, just a few years ago, if you lived in a town and somebody found out some of these things that people post on Facebook, if someone found that out about you a few years back, you would move, you would leave that town and go to another town. And now people post stuff on Facebook that they should be absolutely ashamed of, but they're not because Fools make a mock at sin. Proverbs 14, 12, this is what it says. There is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And that's the way a fool is. A fool just goes on thinking everything's fine, everything's cool, all these other people are doing it, the crowd's doing it, must be good. He's confident, but the end thereof is the way of death. All these groups, Satan has them bound with an absolute spirit of confusion. They are completely confused. The Bible calls it a reprobate mind. That is when your mind overcomes the conscience that God has put into you. Your ability to know right from wrong gets severed and you just go about just with your animalistic instincts. This is what Job says in Job 28, 28. And unto the man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. People, the fear of the Lord drives away confusion and it gives you a sound mind. Proverbs 14, 16 says, A wise man fears and departs from evil, but a fool rages on and is confident. Boy, doesn't that sound like America today? All these people in government, the fools rage on and they're confident, not knowing that the Bible says, Be sure of this, your sin will find you out. They have no idea what the final outcome of their life will be. They're confused. They're fools. They have no way of knowing that one day they will stand before God and they will give an account of their life. They will give an account of every law they ever passed, whether that law helped their citizens or whether it harmed their citizens. 
they will give an account. This is what Proverbs 14, 25 to 27 says. A true witness delivers souls, and a deceitful witness speaks lies. In the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. People, let me tell you something. Very, very soon, very, very soon, we already have anti-speech laws. They are trying to close churches. They're trying to shut Christians down. Little do they know that the more you persecute the church, the more it flourishes. Their laws can't stop us. Every time they pass a law to shut us up, the more we speak out. The fool rages and is confident. People listen. All you need to remember is this. A true witness delivers souls. People, don't worry about America. Don't worry about where we're going. Don't worry about how it's all going to turn out. In the end, we win. In the end, we win. And I'm going to keep on preaching. I'm going to keep making videos. One day, they, if they shut down my channel, I'll do it out in the street. If they ever send me to a FEMA camp, I'll preach in the FEMA camp. I am going to be about the Lord's work till I take my last breath. Because one day I know I will give an account to God. And on that day, I'm going to have a smile on my face and I am going to be completely confident as I stand before God. And the reason is because I have put my faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my Lord and Savior. Anyway, times are going to get very, very rough. You know, people kept saying, all I kept seeing was all these people saying, man, I can't wait till 2020 is over. This, this year has just been terrible. 2021 is just going to be so much better. I can't wait to put this year behind us. People, that's a fool talking. Because all you have to do is read your Bible and you're going to realize it's going to get worse and worse and worse. It's not going to get better. We are ushering in the seven-year tribulation if we're not already in it, and it's going to get very, very difficult. It's not going to get better. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Because one day you will stand before God. A fool rages on and is confident, not knowing what the end will bring. Anyway, people, listen. I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell you choose, just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.